Hey guys, what's up? It's John. Hope you're all doing well. You know, a little while ago, I uh, had this thought, and I was wondering, could it be possible to put together a guitar rig for playing gent, heavy metal, hard rock, just like anything that requires like drop tuned, you know, extended scale guitars. Could I put that rig together for under $500? I knew that I needed three things. I, I needed a guitar, an amp, and effects. Now for the guitar, I wanted something extended scale or, you know, more than six strings. Um, the amp, I was ideally looking for a half stack. And then for the effects, I kind of figured I'd have to go with a multi-effects pedal board just because getting individual effects would start to add up in cash real quick. And so in this video, I wanna show you what I got. So the first piece of gear that I found was off of Craigslist and it was the guitar. This is a Schechter Omen 8. It's an eight string guitar. I was able to snag this guy for $150, which I thought was a great deal. The only real issues are some blemishes at the headstock, some paint chips, and then um, there's a couple dings in the body, but they're very minor. So all in all, I felt like this was a, a good buy, and if I were to ever sell it again, I feel confident that I could get that $150 back and probably a little more. The next thing I picked up was the amp. I found this on Facebook Marketplace. It is a Crate Blue Voodoo. This is the 120 watt version of it. And as you can see, it's the half stack. And the reason I wanted a half stack was I just felt like, you know, it just fit um, the genre so well. Um, just something so fun about having a half stack. Pain in the butt to lug around, but looks so cool on stage. The Blue Voodoos, they come in kind of a variety of sizes. This is 120 watts. They also have a half stack version that's a 60 watt, which would work just as well. And I believe they even have it in a combo amp which would work out fine too. I'm gonna date myself a little bit here, but back in the early 2000s, the Crate Blue Voodoo's, they were like the amp to get if you were getting into heavy music. Now, just a great entry level amp, um, full tubes, and um, just like really high gain. Uh, they sound awesome for playing metal and hard rock. A nice alternative to a Crate Blue Voodoo might be a PB Valve King. Those sound great. Usually you can find some good deals on those too. I was able to score the head and cabinet for 150 bucks. And then the final piece that I got was the effects. And I picked up a Line 6 Pod HD 500X. Now, this is where I splurged a little bit. I went over budget with this. I got this off eBay, got caught up in an auction and got pretty excited. I ended up snagging this guy for $211.50 but then paid $27.35 for shipping for a grand total of $238.85. The reason I went with this is that I've had a HD 300 in the past, so I was already pretty familiar with it, and I wanted to get the 500X just to see how it would compare, just to try it out. So I splurged on this, so I got it for just under 250 bucks, which I thought was a great deal because these things usually sell used for close to like 300, but I know that you can definitely find HD 300s and 400s for under $200. Um, even an HD 500, if you're lucky, you could probably find for close to 200 or just a little bit over. So all in all, I was able to get the guitar, the amp, and the effects for $538.85. So I came pretty close to my budget, uh, splurged a little bit, but I feel pretty confident that if you do some research, uh, make some offers, you'll be able to get a rig set up for 500 bucks. All right, now for the fun part. Let's check out what this all sounds like. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple patches that I made with the 500X, and then we'll jump into a playthrough where you can actually hear how this would sound in a mix. So let's check it out. All right, guys, so I made three patches or uh, guitar tones for the song that I'm going to play for you. Uh, the first is a real filtered uh, tone. Cut out a lot of the bass. Uh, it just kind of works as like a cool like introduction kind of tone to the song. It sounds like this. Uh, 
And then once the song kicks in, I switch to my main rhythm tone. Now for this, I don't have any kind of amp um, simulator on this at all. I'm just relying on the actual amp on the Blue Voodoo for all the gain tones. I have a noise gate, I have a compressor, and that's it. So uh, if you listen to the tone without the noise gate, with the noise gate, without, that really cleans up a lot of the, the, um, the buzz when I'm not playing, and then the compressor just helps to like boost all of the sounds real evenly. And this sounds like this. So a real full frequency sound going on there. And then finally, I have my lead tone, which is the same as the rhythm tone. I just threw on a tube screamer effect on the pod. Um, just give a little more boost. Oh, actually, I lied. So I have two screamer on there, and then I also added delay and reverb. Delay is just an analog delay, and then reverb just a plate reverb, and just very subtle. I have reverb on the amp already, and that kind of sounds like this. So it really pushes the gain a little bit more, pushes the amp more, and uh, just gives a nice lead sound there. And that's it. Just gonna use those three sounds. So uh, let's check out the song. <laughs> 